Hello. You climb Gray's Peak? Uh, I climbed Peak Game. You know? Started playing this. I don't know where I'm going with any of this. But, you know. Gray's Peak, gotta drink it up. Or whatever the fuck he says, I don't remember. Anyway, good evening. Welcome. Uh, we're back to Hypnospace. This might be the final Hypnospace stream. I, I I can't see there being much more to this. I'm going to end up going like for four hours. Watch. <laughs> uh, there's there's a few things I still got to do, right? Um, in terms of like finding the archives. Like, I know I got to find um all the evidence against Dylan Merchant. Uh gotta be hidden somewhere right uh cool hot dog just on my desktop <laughs> all right oh this is this is meaningless why is this here uh whatever we'll just put that down uh, no dead body gone uh hot dog get out of here get out of here nobody wants you um I had a plan in mind, like the other night, on like what to do, uh, for when I stream today, and now I don't remember what it was. Uh, well, hey, let's at least start the web browser, right? Uh, let's open up the HAP. Uh, let's check the intranet, right? Uh, HAP lost and found. So we got the Chowder Man song. We got the Kev J demo. We need the test pet and we need the weird secret eye cult. Uh, test pet. Who made it? Uh, Roddy, right? So I think I'm dumb because I don't think I checked Roddy's um, page like on the earliest. Capture. I uh. So let's let's do that real quick, right? Let's. Uh, where's the home button? There we go. I always get that mixed up. So let's go. To Starport Castle Dream Station, the Bullrain. Uh, Citizen Data. Right there we go. We want to search. Is it F zero 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 two one D? There we go. We don't need this. To my f God damn it. Okay. All right. All right. Ringleader Roddy. Uh, test pet. Yep. Yeah. It was it literally. I just downloading test. Pet. Like if I go to Hypnospace, right? Uh, November twenty sixth. It's gone. Right. So I was just dumb and didn't go on the earliest possible date. So that's why I couldn't find the test pet earlier. Um, but now we can, we can install it, right? Important message received from half underscore Artie. Oh, I might not even have to install it, right? Uh, Roddy's old test pet, thank you. Uh, it's at the bottom of the list there. I can embrace you. This brings back fond memories. Sometimes I pet it for long stretches of times, counting each heart that materialized around it. I think I'll do that now. Artie. Okay. I guess we can take a look at it. Let's see. Installation complete. Oh, oh look at it go. It's, yeah, literally just like an eyeball. It's kind of cute. Okay. I better not just start pooping everywhere. I'm so sick of poop. Um, eat the hot dog. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. What do we have to do now? Right. Open the hat. Uh, all right. Yeah. The intranet. We're looking weird secret eye cult. I could be misremembering, but I think I remember all kinds of pages with a strange Egyptian eye on them. If my memory serves, I'm pretty sure even Adrian Marchant had that symbol somewhere. Can you find out what that's about? Okay, 
So, I think the plan is let's go to the again the earliest possible date, right? Um, which would need the hap, which there we go. And let's just check out um Let's check out What's the page called? Uh open-eyed, right? I mean like that's got to if it's like a cult, right? We we should be checking that out. And I guess we can just go over it with the all-seen eye, right? Everything points to eyes, right? So get this out of here. Uh we have I guess we'll just go down the list, right? Look out ministries. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion uh, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And then people die every day. One day it will be you. Do you know where you'll end up at? No. Nothing. Nothing here. Right. <clears throat> Nothing so far. I guess it wouldn't be at the top if it was here. Notice, Lookout Ministries did not choose to be part of the open-eyed zone and has kindly requested that our page be re relocated to Good Time Valley. I will not remake the whole thing. We do not agree with the things they allow here. Had to be saved. Uh, oh, it just pooped, didn't it? Uh, Squishers Deception about Lookout Ministries. Lookout Ministries is a Bible-believing, non-denominational ministry led by the Holy Spirit. It was formed by Evangelist teacher and prophet Todd, who received the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I think we read all this already. Right. Angels and I have the Bible not look like cute little girls with little instruments. <laughs> I love that. I have six pals on Chit Chat. Um... Dane. Uh, I don't know, let's check out how to be saved. Would you like to be saved? Close your eyes and pray this. Lord, pray to the Lord. Uh, Jesus, look. Jesus. Accepted Jesus into your heart. Please scroll down. Come on. There's got to be something here Gradually, You're now part of the family Your brothers with Christ and true child of his most high God See this is why I, I hate having the pets because they like just make noises and it scares me when I'm trying to just browse the web all right the Squishers Deception? I don't know. Squishers, they're really cool. Oh my god, this Jesus music. Wait, what the fuck? Oh wait, never mind, hold on. <laughs> I thought, uh, I thought something popped up. I was like, what the? Uh... The serpent, snake, I Satan, right? Hey, do you know that stars are Satan? It's fact. I, I used to work with a guy. Um, I think I might have mentioned it. It was like one of my first jobs. This dude was like super into like conspiracies. He was like super Jesus, right? Like, well, no, he wasn't Jesus, but he was super into Jesus and like conspiracy theories. And uh, he would always point out like hidden symbols and everything like even at work like there was like a Columbia gift card, you know, like the clothing brand And uh, He went on this whole like tirade about how uh, Columbia was an evil company because their logo was like a hidden swastika <laughs> And I was like, okay, bud, um you know, there's this whole thing about like monster energy being evil because like it was like 666, but like In Hebrew and I was like, I don't know man. They look like claw marks 
one of the people ever. Oh, he was he was a funny guy. I on a slow day, which that store was very slow because uh, nobody wanted to go there. Um, on a slow day, I all right, hold on. I gotta change the music before this Jesus music gets to me. Uh, it was really fun to work with him because you just got to like pick his brain and like. Oh, uh, there was uh, what was this one? There's another wacky one. Uh. Oh, like basically everything was like Satan, right? It was like uh, one of like the shipping companies we used, like well, I think it was called like Saturn or something. He's like Saturn, Satan, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like like so so confidently, right? Just uh oh god. Oh, he also um, I had like a Fallout like hoodie right i think it was around the time fallout 4 came out so i was okay i was at that job for a really long time i don't know why i was like embrace the suck you know right but um okay we're not listening to that <laughs> we are not listening to that um sure but uh yeah, I had like a Fallout 4 hoodie, right? So it had like the Vault 111 on the back. That was also 666, you know, the mark of the beast. You know, 111? <laughs> That's actually 666 because it looked like the monster logo. So therefore it was also Hebrew. I was like, that is the most big brain shit. The next day I wore that hoodie into work and I had a big can of monster. <laughs> And I was like, how's it going, bud? I'm loving my Satan. He's like, stop, don't say that. <laughs> He's like, that's not a funny joke. <laughs> Alright, huh? What if we what if we gotta look at one of the other captures, right? I don't know, man. At this point, I'm like, just we there's gotta be something. Like, why is there a camera? Like, this is such like, a, a weird page when I think about it, because it, like, relates to nothing, right? But, like, it could just be a weird page. Wait, what's this? Witchcraft alert? Demonic online healers? What's this? Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. Ephestrians, 511. Demonic psychic healers. Make no bones about it. This is witchcraft. Better a slap from a friend than a kiss from an enemy. Well, my friends, today I'm your friend, so get ready for a spiritual slap. If you don't like it, grow up, because playtime is over. It's time to get serious, because your life could be at stake if you continue to open yourself up to attacks from the enemy. We all know there is someone in this very hypnospace zone who has made herself a servant of the father of lies. I am not here to say she is a fraud or a phony. I do not believe this. I believe the power she taps into is very real. This is the power of witchcraft. Witchcraft has been practiced since biblical times. I like how he spelled biblical wrong. And it simply means you want your own way, not God's way. I want it now, 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 like a toddler. Jesus said, not my will, but yours be done. But psychics say the opposite. Well, she will supernaturally help you have it your way at a price. The price of risking your soul to hell. Is it worth it? Do not be deceived by going to psychics. You are putting your future in the hands of the dark powers instead of the loving hands of God. Look out, ministries. Okay, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Francis E. Deck, Esquire. Um, he was a literal, like, schizophrenic lawyer who would write letters to um the county judge uh he's actually from long island much like myself which is uh it gives me a little bit of like a like a a a, a nice uh sort of like hey i know that <laughs> right um he's he said a lot of uh a lot of questionable things right but uh yeah he was very mentally unwell but there was this, uh, there's this guy who, like, did, like, voiceovers of it, uh, of, like, his rants that he wrote. Like, letter to all judges, right? And it's, it's so fucking funny. Um, he does the voice of, like, a crazy person so well, and he has, like, 
this effect that makes it sound like old-timey radio. Like, <laughs> it is so good. Um, I, I can't... I can't repeat much of what he says because he likes to drop like a lot of gamer words, right? Um, but at one point I, he talks about like how the what was it the, the judge's wife was gesticulating at me, <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's fucking. I mean, it, it's literally insane, right? That the man was like actually like insane, like unmedicated, like he believed people were like spraying poison nerve gas like into the air like to like kill him you know like actually it, like it's kind of tragic because he was like a successful you know i don't know about successful but he was a lawyer right which means he must have had had some level of success in his life and it just he had his own practice and it just kind of got pissed all away right um but yeah you know these things happen white right? people encounter m mental illness uh it doesn't mean it's still not kind of funny today. Wait, what? Was this here before? Hold on. One, two. Holy shit! We're, I'm going deeper, Leo. Oh shit! Would you like to be saved? Oh wait, hold on. This was here before, right? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I lied. This is this is fake. It's not deeper. I thought this was like a new thing, but it's not. Smile. Jesus loves you. Which was the one that was like broken earlier? How to be saved. You like to be saved. What? It's the same page. Huh. It's gotta be. Alright. So we have one more capture of this website, right? It's gotta be something, right? Year 2000 is coming. Do you play games? Careful. Often they are demonic. Keep your eye on this awesome Christian game being made. Praise the Lord. Chosen anointed. Alert! 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 I do not condone the activities of those in open-eyed zone, but my battle is not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in dark places. Uh, December 2000 is coming. This is not a joke. The year 2000 meltdown is coming. And you need to make sure your loved ones are safe. But not for the reasons they tell you on TV. Yes, something is on the way. Yes, it is going to change everything. Yes, the world will never be the same. But it is not a glitch that will actually change the world. For that is only a deceitful distraction. Pay attention to what I am about to say. On New Year's Eve 2000, world leaders have planned a meeting they will be getting together behind closed doors. They know you are distracted by the year 2000 glitch, and they know you won't be paying attention. Oh my god, the beast. What is that? Uh, Thessalonians 2 9 to 11. Even him whose coming is after the work is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved and for this cause god shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie revelation 1920 and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he achieved them that he had received the mark of the beast and them that worshiped his image what you are about to see will be the coming of the beast. Do not be deceived. Keep your eyes open. Make sure that the Lord God is God in your life before it's too late. He saved me and he can save you. Keep your eyes on Jesus. You need, need that Jesus in your life. Let me tell you. Come on, squishers, they're really cool. All right, whatever. Let's check the fucking squishers page again. Oh, what's this? Oh, net settler. Cool. Safe mode activated. Uh, coming soon from Double Edge Software, a Christian game that doesn't stink. Chosen anointed. No fear, no limits. Hitting the shelves of your favorite Christian bookstore in 2001. Damn, that's a long time to wait. 
Uh... Okay, but all right. So the Eye of Horus has to be like important, right? Because like, why would it be flashing like this? Right, cult, spooky eye. They mention it's an eye. I don't know. Let's. I mean, we have a search engine right here, right? What if we just like? What if we just want like Horus. I don't know. Chat. What the fuck? Why is there children of Horus? Children of Hiding Occult references in utmost secrecy Huh? In the cafe? Huh? Excuse me? Don't bother Nothing on this page Told ya Wait, hold on Barnaby homepage, just, uh, Who the fuck owns this? There's no... Safe mode activated. There's no, uh... There's no info on this page. What the heck? Enter your password? Fuck me, God damn it. Oh, uh, what do we password? Tim. Fucking Tim. Uh. Where is where where are where's Tim's password list? Oh, Thanksgiving feast. Yes, uh, Tim again's Thanksgiving password feast. Uh, son of Tim here. Um, Reckoning Inc. Boobs Jezo chit chat for Hypnos. User. Ginsby, Zane Rocks, MS Adrian Merchant. Yeah, okay, Strange Egyptian Eye. Uh, okay. Adrian Merchant had that symbol. So it checks out. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's cook. Let's cook. Uh, Adrian Merchant. Falcon123. Is that really his password? Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's see if it's got any cool music on that page. Let's. Go back to... I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. I guess just for shits and giggies, right? Let's let's try and see. Children of Horus. Falcon, one, two, three. Honor of Rule 2, please. Undefined status. Headband ID, undefined. Uh, news... Children of Horus 99. Oh, it doesn't have any music. Come on, that's lame. All right, let's find some Important cool music. Message received from half underscore Chelsea. Wow, great job finding that Horus stuff, Otato. For any capture. What's this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, those guys were weird. Was this just some kind of dumb competition between rich guys at this point, really? I thought it might open up some sort of conspiracy. Um. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let's bring up some. I see.
Uh, maybe. I, I think I think Zareed's gonna be what we need, right? Winner's banquet and ritual cleansing will be held at King Foods Amphitheater, Basement Chamber 2, January 9, 2000. Doors at 6 p.m. plus one guest. Standings updated November 4th, 1999. Name hidden, found. Uh, A. Larson, F. Kazuma, C. Uh, yeah, C. Jacob, A. Merchant, A. Dispenza. 1999 disqualified members. Uh, honor rule 2. Uh, please honor rule to refrain from acknowledging COH by name. Thank you. E. Hellman, M. Truck. There's gotta be. Gotta be more to this, right? Uh, January 9th. That's it? Well, that sucks. I thought there'd be more. So we still need proof, right? Uh, so we did leaky piping, right? Um, go to reckoning right I fucking hate this dude's spelling right he's gotta have something right he's the guy who does all the leaks uh, leaky piping right stop using hypnospace it's all bro oh wait hold on wait a minute can we? Debug. Uh, no. You got hit no mail. Just debug. There's gotta be a way to like restore this stuff, right? All I can think of is maybe he's got something in the freelance. But she had his thing down here, right? Safe mode activated. Rinse off clinical leak backup. Oh shit. Uh, let's change everything. New second site. Act one, emergence off commissions, hypnospace headband, clinical study to silence beef brain rumors. Act two, merchant soft isn't happy with the finding and buries them. Instead commissioning paid tests by the independent experts. 
Act 3, Reckoning releases copies of the damning documents, bringing an end to Hypnospace and Merchantsoft. Click to download, unrelease Hypnospace. Uh, clinical study abstract and sleep study sample. Uh, share far and wide. External mirror download. Downloading S0225 PSG Hypnospace send. 1. S0225 PSG Hypnospace 2. Hypnospace Clinical Abstract. Oh, can I? Okay, I can't. Can't. I can't hammer anything in this page. Uh, well, that's fucking cool. Hold on. Let's check this out. What do we get? Uh, uh. Headband active. Brain activity. Headband arousal trigger. Awake. I don't know what any of that means, but sure. Hypnospace. That, yeah, that's, that's the data. Look at that. All right, I guess we should read the abstract. Document tree from at adrianmerchantsoft.com. Email account, hypnotext transcript. Effects of nighttime use of hypnospace technology on sleep quality in healthy individuals. Authors. E.J. Marks, Lauren F. Salerno, S. Philip Wells, Kristen M. Marshall, Felix R. Chen, T.W. Jefferson. Background. The recently released product, Hypnospace, allows participants to browse a virtual world during their nighttime sleep using a wearable Hypnospace headband. This new technology has quickly grown in popularity, but has also attracted criticism from laymen and scientists alike. Little research has been conducted on this new range of products thus far. This study aims to examine how users' sleep quality is affected by wearing the Hypnospace headband. Methods In November 1999, we selected 21 healthy individuals with no history of sleep disorders. Their sleep was monitored for four sequential nights using polysomnography. Participants were also asked to assess their sleep quality each morning on a scale from 1 to 10. Concentration and focus tests were conducted each afternoon to examine the level of fatigue experienced by uh, subjects. Subjects were the hypnospace had been during nights 3 and 4 only. Uh, results. The mean time spent in REM sleep during the nights without hypnospace headband was 22.9% plus or minus 5.2%. Similar, the data found in iteration, uh, oh, sorry, found in literature, I don't know where, where iteration came from, but sure. Uh, found in literature during the nights when the when the patients use the hypnospace headband time spent in REM sleep. Ugh, hold on, let me take a sip of water. Time spent in REM sleep increased significantly. Uh, P equals 0 0.005 to 49.7 percent, plus or minus 8.9 percent, indicating poor sleep quality in those nights. Almost all N equals 19 patients uh, experienced an increase in REM sleep when using the Hypnospace headband. Uh, 16 significantly so. Subjects reported average to good sleep quality during the nights without the Hypnospace headband, 7.2 plus or minus 2.2, on a scale from 1 to 10, but reported worse sleep quality during the nights when they had worn the Hypnospace headband, averaging 4.5 plus or minus 1.9. Almost all subjects, N equals 18, experienced a decrease in... Oh my god. You shush. Uh, almost all subjects, N equals 18, experienced a decrease in concentration and focus on days 3 and 4 after using the Hypnospace headbands at night. 16 of them, significantly so. Conclusions. Nighttime use of Hypnospace increases REM sleep and uh, decreases both uh, objective and subjective quality of sleep. Daytime fatigue increased after using the hypnospace headbands in most, most patients. Long-term prospective studies are necessary to further determine effects of continued hypnospace use. Until then, we recommend discontinuing or severely limiting use of this product. Conflicts of interest. This study was funded by Merchantsoft Inc. <laughs> uh... I don't even know what I'm sending to her, but like, sure. No violation detected for law six. Okay, fine. Are you sure? Whatever. 
Because now we just watch the email. Wait, there's something behind the shield here. Why is the question behind the shield? What the heck is this? Welcome. Oh. The Hypnospace Patrol Department enforces. No, training. no, no, no. What is. Oh, it died. Okay. I didn't know that could die. Sure. Rip. My desktop is a graveyard. Message received oh. from MS underscore Samantha. What is this? What is this spam message in my chat room? Oh, uh, how do I moderate? There we go. Um, da -ba -ba -ba, oh no. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Uh, well, I can just ban that, right? That's easy. Manage suspicious user, uh, restrict, uh, block, there we go. How do I, oh, there we go, uh, ban, perfect. OMG, I love it. We haven't gotten spam in a while. You got it. I got it. You are beautiful. Just a drop dead, gorgeous hunk of investigating prowess. Did you know that? These reports have horrifying implications. Seems that people in sleep time weren't really sleeping much at all. Uh, surprised more people weren't hurt. Together with those chit chat logs you found, we have enough to put away Dylan Mergent for a long time. Stay tuned, who knows? You might hear your name on the news up here soon. Oh, jeez. Dylan. Hello, Samantha. Or no, he's gonna be like Wesker, right? Hello, Samantha. HSC 13 Hypnospace Archival Project Team Outlaw Final HSP. Switch to the half internet capture before viewing. Pretty soon you'll figure out, like I did, that Hap Chelsea is actually MS Samantha, a former employee of Merchant Soft. Working with Otato, she is attempting to compile evidence that proves that Merchantsoft is guilty of several crimes, one of which is knowledge of the inherent dangers associated with sleep time computing. Whether she found and submitted these files or not, the truth of this allegation is simple. I am responsible for the Y2K mind crash. Attached. You'll find a link to a confession of sorts. Sorry that this letter, letter sounds a bit formal. I've been waiting to write one like it for a while. Dreading it, actually. However, I'm not scared anymore. It's been eating at me for over 20 years, and I just need peace. I'm not expecting forgiveness from any of you. Uh, you should really feel like a piece of shit after what you did to uh, Tim there. You made Tim think he killed the girl he liked. That's fucked up. Uh... I know several incredible people that I previously did not. I finally experienced hypnospace and its beauty, its citizens brought into the world for myself. I am so, so sorry to you, Tim, more than almost anyone. Send this to whoever you need to or want. I'll be waiting. Sent from my D phone. All right, let's pause the music. Let's see what he sent us. It's gonna, it's gonna mind crash me. Right? Oh wait. Hold on. I didn't download anything. Outlaw 1.0. Otato, Samantha, and the rest of Hypnospace Archival Project Team. I finished my game. Click here to install Outlaw 1.0. Instructions to play Outlaw 1.0. Move along the Hypnospace Highway until you spot an Outlaw. Then apprehend them by positioning your vehicle behind them and using your lasso, space, long enough to apprehend them. You may fly, shift for a limited time, but be careful not to land on other vehicles. By Dylan Merchant. All right, let's see Outlaw, but it works this time. HSPD. Oh. All citizen, all connections exactly loaded into Outlaw. Oh, okay, that's how that works. 
That's the lasso? <laughs> Look at all the images of the fucking smileys. Oh shit. Are, are, are you an outlaw? Citizen Zane Rocks has ascended. File retrieves from Citizen Zane Rocks. Citizen Ringleader Roddy has ascended. File received from Citizen Ringleader Roddy. What the fuck? Wait, did Ringleader Roddy die? I didn't see him. I don't remember him. Citizen Dark Twilight Tiff has ascended. I don't remember there being any mention of... Oh wait, yeah, Ringleader Roddy. I was thinking of... I don't know what. Ringleader Roddy, it made me think of, um... Counselor Ronnie. I was like, Counselor Ronnie didn't die, but... Yeah, no, Ringleader Roddy, yeah, he's dead. He died. Okay. Rod's anti government page ascended file received from Citizen Rod's anti government page. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. How many people died? Oh. Uh, citizen 0556332 has ascended. File retrieved. Okay. There was six, right? And Dylan. Oh, can I check the, uh, oh, is it, can I check the files? Downloading five files. Hey, Zane rocks 14. You could have become someone your mother was proud of. I'm sorry, Zane. Tiffany, I took your future away from you. Your little words delighted others. Mine destroyed them. I'm sorry. Mavis, I'm sorry. Bring later, Roddy. Roddy, you might not buy this, but I considered you my best friend at the end there. I worked consumed me and became me. People who weren't helping me build my masterpiece were invisible. Through all of it, you were always willing to come back and put up with my garbage, and God, I wish you hadn't. I'm sorry. Rod's anti-government page. Rodney, your family came after us hard after the crash. They disgusted me. They smelled like body odor. Their clothes were stained, stretched out and dirty. They wore flip-flops. They came all the way from San uh, all the way to San Francisco to our offices and we sent them away. I really know that if they're still around, I'm going to make it right. I'm sorry. Wow, what a fucking dick. Yeah, I really don't like Dylan Merchant. Okay. We've got one last outlaw, right? Oh no, is it gonna make me do it all again? I hope not. I just... Oh, what the heck? Yeah, oh my god, I gotta do it all again. I didn't think that, um... I don't know, I was like scared to like end the game if I... Like, didn't read the files first. Alright, Rain Leader Roddy. So now we got duplicates of all those. I don't get what the point of flying is. Like, you can go above them, but like... I don't know. Oh, there we go. Zane rocks. Do, do, 
anti-government page I, I still the absolute disrespect to Rod's family you know who's disgusting Dylan Merchant Dylan Merchant is disgusting I knew it I never liked him I, he, he smells like meat and cheese oh shit okay Go, go on. Who do we get? Oh, is that Dylan? Dylan has not ascended. Dylan has descended. You serve zero purpose. <laughs> Okay. I thought I heard something weird outside. How poignant. I guess. I don't know. Oh, it just closes the game. Okay. I totally would have been completely... Got... six files. The absolute, all the poop on the Heaven and Space Outlaw credits. Jay Tholen, Mike Lash, Zalavier, Nelson Jr. They just, they took the name Xavier and just added like an extra like vowel. <laughs> uh, lead designer, artist, composer, writer, programmer, designer, juice putter, inner. Narrative designer, writer, Kev J rapper, additional programming by that Witches Media, Corey Cochran, publisher, No More Robots, General Nuisance, Mike Rose, senior producer, Sally Blake, development lead, Dan Foster, marketing lead, Pip Hoskins, quality assurance, Zayane Ahmed, quality assurance, Arwen Brock, The Chowderman Music and Likeness, Hot Dad, Cliff to Pieces, composed and produced by Chris Schlarb. Zareed Music by Sword of Kings 128. Glamocaster slash Glamoplasm Music uh, by Shane Soderstrom. Sea Page Music by Queen Jazz. Sorry, so if you like Sea Page, look up Queen Jazz right there. They're the ones responsible. Uh, Real Solve Music by Rail Slave. Slush Mouth Music, Too Cute for You and Confused by Simon Carlos. Kev J slash Squishers Raps by Zalavier Nelson Jr. Hollow Angel Music by El Huervo. The Modi Motivator Music by Rat 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 Tevder? <laughs> Cavernous Music by Harrison Lemk or Lemke. Guttural Music by Catbeat slash Swedish Columbia. Freezer, Basidia, Arcello, Sacred Space, Tamara Frost, etc. Music by Jay Tholen. Uh, Nativity Costume 2000 New Year's Eve, originally written by Half Handed Cloud. Difficulty Boy slash Unicorn Company slash Syringe Culture Music. What the fuck is. What, what is Syringe Culture Music? Syringe Culture Music. What is. Stream Syringe Music? Syringe to my uh, uh, that, there's nothing there's, there's nothing on online I can find about syringe culture music okay sure uh, RJ at Spellbane Big Gus music by Aghan Roche various original animations contributed by Zenuel, Nick Lives Tinker Tyler, Sarah Huxley, Zareed Likeness, Josh West, Artie Likeness, Christos Failnot Reed, 
Adrian Likeness, Rupert Magnot, Dylan Likeness, Kurt Gartner, Dark Twilight Tiff Likeness, at Sikaitlin, Samantha Likeness, Christine Tholen, Tamara Likeness, Tamara Gamble, Tam Tamara's a self insert, Tim Likeness, Peter Swim, Taurus and Muleta logo and comic cover by Terry uh, Veldman. Weird car drawings with faces by Nicholas Bear at Carolus Dick what Carolus Dis Dixius I don't even know Gooper Kids Art uh, Meow Voice Samples and the intro video Hypnospace Headband Model uh, Katharina Tholen Final Stage Beta Testers Alexander Roper Roy Activity Cowspind Tristan C Viravax Soproxy uh, Darnell Waitos, uh, Sergio Cornish, Scum DM, uh, number 9711 slash Doran, Arthur Borkenstein, Charpentier, uh, Dean Boonman, Justin Kewell, Er, uh, Venkja, Legendary Bug Hunter, Incredibly Thorough Beta Tester, and All Around Cool Guy, or Cool Dude, Tom K, Miss Sound FX. Source samples by the Free Sound Project, Chip for K, Phrase, uh, Franzen, Danoct01, Gito, Inspector J, Eric uh, Matias, Sound Mary, Mike the Tunk Wallisons, uh, Arlen Celtic Warlock animations by Nick Preston, original pixel fonts by some PX, Horrifying pre rendered yellow smileys by Gordon Little, Thomas Hopper. <laughs> Steve Guy, Neil CC. Oh, no way! C Neil CC Rega? Who is Steve Guy? That sounds familiar. Steve Guy. Hypno. Space. S Steve Guy. Oh, Steve Guy was the, was the sound. So that's Neil CC Rega. Okay, cool. No way. Parrot picture. Debridam, Crowstam, and Lizzie the Parrot. Uh, Katie's Cuddly Cat Corner Cat Model. Emmy. Wait, there's a cat corner? No way. All sorts of source clip art and Photoshop material. Openclipart.org. Publicdomainimages.com. Clips and intro cinematic from Netcafe slash Computer Chronicles and licensed via Stuart Chiefet Productions. Assorted amazing gifts user permission of Seven Oaks. www.sevenoaksart.co.uk was unfortunately excluded from the Wayback Machine. But his amazing work lives on through Hypnospace. Construct 2 plugin mastermind, Osama Skyman Juini. I, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Uh, Tamara Frost voice, uh, Giselle Foster, future recycler graphics and music by John Ringoffer. Asher music and likeness, Asher Greg Morrison. Renderman 33 page and art by Leon Rudat. Love Squid pet design and art by Joy Devi. Music and Ice School Kid songs by Jim Stormdancer. The Super uh, Tasters are Jim Stormdancer and Ben McGraw. Counselor Ronnie Voice, Austin Brewer. Queen of Sandiverse Poetry by Sierra Baca Miller. Red Strike songs by Red Strike. Hypnospace remixes by Jay Tholen. Uh, Red Strike's a real guy? Okay. Mushi Design and Pet Sprite. Acacia M. Lawson, Double Witness, written by Greg Buchanan. The Double Witness cast. Main FBI. Wait, hold on. You can actually literally watch Double Witness? No way. Main FBI guy, Cameron Litland. Other FBI, Alex Valero Danda. Sheriff, The White Gypsy. Mayor, Cathara Tholen. Teenager, Jeannie Gonzalez. Giant Thumb, Jordan Carroll. Pike, Paul Byron. A Tree, Johannes Snop. Sorceress, Source Art on Gus's Sad uh, December 31 page. Uh, Shayerl, Teardrop. Spooky Chain Sound Effect, Mike Koenig. Uh, drums in Millennium Anthem, 2000 New Year's Eve by Nicholas Bony Rat. Rotor Game by Connor McGa uh, McCann. Barnaby's Chair, Barnaby's News by Dan Warren. Additional vocals on You're Not That Cool and Corduroy by Matt Forrest. Ice School Kid vocals by Dakota Reader. Uh, plug 3D model on Connie's Connection by Weird W. W Briggs is Stephen George Briggs. Uh, born 1915, died 1979. Photos taken at Monte uh, Casino in 1944 while serving with the Royal Artillery. Oh god, there's another page. 
Uh, Kickstarter backers. I'm not going to read all those, but if you donated to the Kickstarter, thanks for making this game happen. <laughs> oh my god. So many Kickstarter backers. Jesus Christ. Wait, did I see that? Pandora Moogle Manga. Okay, that's quite the name there. Oh, okay. Hold on. We got to see if we can find... Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on. Redirecting the homepage. Hold on. What was the place called? Um, Double Witness. We gotta see if we can find Double Witness. That's just... Real quick, before, before it's over, right? God damn it. God. Ah, double witness! Institute of... Oh, Sarah? I don't know, we can see. Oh, uh, let's see. F... 1, oh, oh. F one oh four two seven A. Oh, what should I be told? Gil, I had this here. Thanks, nothing probably did. Did we? Did, did we ever read that? I don't know. Downloading Saunders Poetry Journal, one. Let's check out the Saunders Poetry Journal. I don't know if we ever, if we ever read that. Saunders Poetry Journal. A selection of my writings from over the years. Most of this ceased once I exit college, but I look back fondly on these. Untitled Sonnet. My fingers are broken, my memories forgot. Not once have I spoken, my lungs full of rot. Who was I in life and where did it end? A family, a wife, money to spend. I do not know, nor may I ever. I creep now slow. Uh, though my brain, they did sever a mindless shell, bound to earth like hell. Untitled free verse one. It's humorous how freedom can be so hindering. Given one simple guideline, I can't think of a thing. Be careful what you wish for. This is sound advice. Free will is as crippling as the stab of a knife. Untitled free verse 2. These poems express my lack of ideas, though they themselves are, it's a little stupid, isn't it? Uh, that I default to a rambling fit when I have nothing on my mind, which is quite often, I will admit. Cobwebs sprinkled with gray dust, windows cracked and dirtied, lights that flicker in the still cold air, an eternal storm, thunder blares. Carried away into a foreign world, I know it as I know my own reflection. Others may see it differently than I, to me. This place is home. Autobiographical. As my loyal avian companions do, I have shed my feathers, they've grown anew. I too have grown in all these years. Forgotten woes, I've overcome my fears. From a small troubled child to a trustworthy peer, an artist, comedian, and yes, a bit queer. I've blossomed into my own wild flower, and nowadays my anxiety has no power. I'm free to live the way I wish. The world's a clear, bright ocean, and I am a little fish. I am free to swim wherever I please, to learn and evolve, and eventually to sprout limbs and walk, wings and fly, to soar higher and higher till the day I die. Untitled Anxiety Poem 1 Add the numbers, read the lines, block out the thoughts within my mind, trapped in these desks till the end of each day. My thoughts know they should not stray. Yet with each day work goes ignored, with these thoughts I will be bored, and in my being each thought will grow until it is a worthy foe. When the battles begin and the casualties spread, I can feel the claws mutilate my head, and the bits and gibs leak from my ears, uh, forming puddles of my greatest fears. They soil my shoes, soak my feet, they rule me over in but a single heartbeat. Oh, this one has a title, it's called Dealing. The sudden need to touch pen to paper. It intrigues me more than I can say. Years have passed and not a word, but now they spill from my brain and gushing flow of potential disaster, my deepest thoughts and feelings. They want to be seen, heard by all. This is my way of dealing. 
And here is this is just called anxiety. The daily struggle rips me apart, like the monsters it is. With its piercing nails and through my blood spills, I'm forced to smile through it all. To overcome these obstacles, to defeat this beast, anxiety. There's something I have but there's something I have needs to discover, and that something must be me. A thing, uh, though observed each day, more mysterious than any other. But who else can decipher the riddles of my mind but me? No one. And thus they remain unknown forever, locked away, causing me to suffer. I do not want this fate. So monster prepare. You're over. Unknown. And so the echoes of my past play a haunting refrain. These vibrations tickle my thoughts. Though I, uh, what to make of them, I do not know. Accept or reject. These are my choices. The ultimate choice stays unknown. Wow. Okay. That's not what I was looking for, but sure. Uh, fuck. Double Witness. Come on. I want to watch Double Witness. Oh, uh, who was the... Let's see. Scaries. Let's just search Scaries, right? Uh, Beyond Twilight. Linda has moved. Yes, Linda Horror. That's why. Linda's Horror page. Pew, pew. Okay. We want... Oh, fuck. My quest to watch Double Witness. Let's see. F0-8-1-3-1-A. Linda, you... You needed... Alright, all I can think of is maybe... Tiffany has it? F one seven zero wait one seven one zero five A. Alright, that's a G, not an F. That'll probably mess it up. Also, I put S instead of A. F one seven one zero five A. Okay, this time. Dark Twilight Tiff. Scary digital parasites. Scary smaller boulder. Here, my name is Tiffany.htx. Downloading my name is Tiffany. What's this? Escape the Choppy Mall. Collaboration between Linda of Linda's Library of Weird and Dark Twilight Tiff. Weird Twilight, you explore mall. Huh. Uh, you explore virtual wall by rotating a first person view. You can encounter scaries randomly. By clicking on the various sections of the mall, also make some secrets. Art from Linda, mall map, ten or more scaries, some sound effects. Tim, hey, I know you probably see this. This is going to be a scary between me and Linda. Sorry. Also, I will absolutely not answer any more messages if you call me that name. I told you, I don't like it already. Oh, okay. So it's not like, it's not like my name is Tiffany. It's like my name is Tiffany, right? Like she's pissed. Okay, I get it now. All right, that makes sense. What'd she have on the last day? Uh, oh boy. Downloading Ugh. Let's check out what Ugh is. All right. Oh, oh wait, it's, that's why it's right here. Uh, Timmy get in. Hey, uh, hi. Hey, Marshmallow, everything good? Uh, I'm working on something new. I just found out how to edit Hypnospace Zone pages. It's so easy, even my grandpa could do it. I'm not kidding. I took what you said seriously and I'm making something positive where you help people. I mean, it still has my signature style and everything, but it isn't bad. I think you'll really like it. I don't care about getting into minks anymore, by the way. They're annoying. Cool. Okay, so get this. What if there's like a year 2000 crash? Ah, every town's on fire. Ah. But then you get to be the hero of it and stop it. We could even pretend you hacked me or something to stop it. I mean, I'm already the villain, right? And you don't want people to think you're involved in illegal stuff. This way, you can be the hero. Also, I promise I won't use any more bright flashing colors because I know you have that epilepsy issue. Anyway, let me know what you think. Ah, uh, well, don't go overboard. In case... Wait, was it? Uh, no. Uh, I forgot what ICBI is. Uh, oh, I can't believe it. Uh, you're cool with it? Yes. Our son says, Mama... I'm so glad you've come around. He 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 he. Just kidding. All right. 
That's a little weird. Like, you know a girl and you're like not actually like dating her and you're like, this is our son. Right? Like, ugh. Ugh. Tim, you're kind of gross. At 16. I mean, it's whatever, right? Um, okay. I really can't believe Linda... How am I supposed to find digital parasites? Who else would have digital parasites? Or not digital parasites. What the fuck? Uh... Double witness. Who would have double witness besides Linda? Uh, I'm not sure it was ever making sense, but I love it. It's a detective drama which small town's change mayor was found dead in a giant bag of broccoli. Why would they have like actors listed for the credits? I missed to watch Double Witness. All right, let's see. I I, I like I want to like end it with like because you know we saw the end, but knowing that there's a watchable version of Double Witness, I I gotta find this. Uh, let's see. Let's go to good old fashioned YouTube, right? Somebody's gotta upload it. Uh, Double witness uh hypno space wait what dream settler reveal trailer sleep net it's where dreams are literally made sometimes dream needs a little help that's where you come wait home there's a fucking There's like a sequel coming out? Okay, I can't find Double Witness. I don't know if there's an actual, like... <laughs> I don't know if it actually exists. But now I'm curious what the hell uh, Dream Settler is. Hold on. Chat. Whatever. I guess if I ever find the Double Witness video, I, I guess we'll watch it together. Um, but from the meantime chat we have we have a trailer for the sequel i guess we can watch that it was uploaded two years ago so who knows when it'll actually come out um there we go dream seller reveal trailer this is what we have to look forward to i guess eventually Which is good, because I'm, like, dying for, like, another game like this. I already mentioned I have, like, two games I could play. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> the voice is talking to me. Dream Settler. Tender shoot, noble robot, no more robots. So that's the trailer for Dream Settler. I am, uh, I'm excited for that. When does that come out? Oh, the meat! Oh, the meat's flying! Honestly, I, I was ready to be like a, a short stream but i wasn't expecting it to be over so soon i guess um so i mean but that's it like we don't have any other hypnospace stuff to do uh let me just i just want to look at um if dream settler has any kind of dream settler so it has a steam page uh sleep net it's where dreams are literally made but sometimes let them you know let's uh Let's let's just let's get some music going in Hypno S, right? Um, where's the music? All right. There we go. Play. Let's play some Freezer, right? And let's. Oh no. Oh, uh, by Alt Tab, it's not gonna. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, that's so weird. Okay. 
Sometimes it like bleeds through. That's weird. Okay, what? Uh, let's just. <laughs> all right, whatever. All right, I'll just put it on right here, right? Uh, let's just. I don't know. Icy girl freezer, right? <laughs> let's just put that on. Uh. I just put on auto play and see what, what it does. Right. Cool. Okay. All right. Let, let, we're just gonna read the the page for uh, <laughs> for for Dream Settler. This is all I wanted to do. Okay. I swear, this was supposed. This wasn't. This wasn't supposed to be so complicated, but here we are. Okay. Uh, so coming soon. All right, Dream Settler. Uh, let's get some screenshots. Right. Sleep net. It's where dreams are literally made, but sometimes dreams need a little help, and that's where you come in. They say a, a private eye never sleeps, but to crack these cases, you'll need to be out cold. So this is more of like a like a private eye thing than like internet moderation. That's kind of cool. Um, sleep net. Uh, yeah, okay. Dream Settler is an early 2000s uh, internet simulator in which you solve cases for an array of strange and endearing characters as a sleep net private investigator. From hunting down elusive soup recipes to unearthing global conspiracies. You'll need to explore countless pages, download apps and master minigames to close your cases and solve sleep net's mysteries. It'll start small with little more than a bare bones dream settler template page. But before long you find yourself caught up in a plot that will determine the very future of SleepNet and sleep time computing at large. Browse an entirely new simulated internet set in the future year of 2003. Solve cases as a private eye in your sleep. Make friends or enemies among your dream settler peers and the powers that be across SleepNet. Personalize your desktop and customize your own dream settler page. Find, play, and explore bizarre music, games, and software. So, uh, Dream Settler. I guess it's not, I don't know if it's so much the sequel to uh, Hypnospace Outlaw, but it's like the spiritual successor. Um, I don't know. I'm, re I I'm excited like for it to come out, so hopefully it'll come out soon, right? Uh, but we can log out of Hypnos because uh, we're kind of done. There's there's not much else to do for Hypnospace. Um, I guess uh, I guess next time I stream, I don't know. Uh, I want to get, or I want to play more kind of like weird desktop style games. Uh, so if you know of any, uh, like internet or desktop computer simulators, I don't know what to call this kind of game. Uh. Yeah, definitely recommend them because like this is like my thing that I want to do right now. Um, I already mentioned I wanted to get home safety hotline, so we'll probably stream that soon. And then um, uh, I have needy streamer overload, which I figured would probably be kind of in like the same ish vein. Uh, and I've been meaning to stream that for like a while, so uh, we can check that out too eventually. Uh, but yeah, that's it. No more Hypnospace Outlaw, and I didn't have anything else planned. Um, I don't really have anything available to set up, um, and I might as well just get started, <laughs> like, getting ready to go to bed and stuff. So if you showed up for the short stream today, uh, thanks. Uh, I wish I could have shown you more, but uh, that's it. Uh, take care. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, I'm going to probably grab a snack and get to work on uploading the VOD uh, to YouTube for this. So, uh, bye-bye.